What's up you guys, Lisa He of Borderlands Bakery here today and we're going to do a no-bake sweet and salty dessert today. It'll be caramel wrapped chocolate dipped pretzel rods and we're gonna decorate them so that they're all super cute. You don't need to bake anything. Everything that I use is store-bought or pre-made. It comes together super quickly and is very easy to make as long as you follow along. If you like our content, definitely hit that like and give us a subscribe because it help us, helps us a ton. Here's what you're going to need for your dipped pretzel rods. I am using these big Snyder's pretzel rods. I have some sprinkles here for decoration, a couple of piping bags for drizzling the chocolate, and then I have a big five pound block of caramel that I've been working through from um, Peter's Caramel. I'll link it for you in our blog post below. And then I'm using melting chocolate today, just whatever I have on hand. I have some dark chocolate guitar, I don't know how to pronounce that, um, melting wafers. And then these are s'mores wafers that were left over from last year and they're still good from Wilton, I believe. And I like using these because they're easy to melt and they dry pretty quickly with a nice shine, unlike chocolate that you have to temper. Of course, you are absolutely free to use chocolate if you'd like. I also have this Nerdy Nummies chocolate warmer, which is absolutely life-changing nerdy nummies and for $25 I don't have to take my bags or containers in and out of the microwave I just keep it warm on low right here and it's great so that's all you need very simple I got a mat here it's a silicone non-stick mat it's to lay my pretzels on to fully dry so I'm using this giant block of Peter's caramel that comes in the five pound bricks, but you don't have to. You can use um, any other store-bought individually wrapped squares of caramel. We'll put a little pick up here of some of the ones that we've seen and used in the past and they work just fine. You can also go out of your way to make your own caramel, but this is quick, easy, so we're using store-bought today. All right, so first thing we do is grab your pretzel rod. These have nice big chunks of salt on them and they're absolutely delicious paired with the sweetness of the chocolate and the caramel. And then I'm going to cut off a chunk of our caramel. And this has been sitting around for a little while and if it dries out, you'll know what parts are dried out and you can kind of uh, go around it. For my hands, if your hands are super warm, put a little bit of butter on it so that you won't have as much stickiness or wear gloves. That's also helpful. So the outside part is a bit dried out. So I'm gonna actually grab some from a little bit closer to the center of the caramel. You can tell it's very homogenous, very easy to work with. I'm gonna put this back and warm it up later. And first thing we're going to do is encase our rod in a rope of caramel. So to do that, I've got my work mat here. It's um, our exclusive Just Roll With It Baking With Borderlands mat. And depending on how thick you want to have your caramel wrapped around the pretzel rod, it'll be a different size. I think the only way to find out is if you play with it and figure out what you prefer. I've also got a little bit of a little royal icing transfer here that I made with a bow. You can uh, not swipe up, um, but you can uh, visit the link in our blog for the template to make these bows. And I just want to put them on here for a little bit of extra cuteness. So moving on to making the caramel strips, I kind of form it into a log using both of my hands, but my hands will get warm over time. So I roll it on the mat, or you can do this on your counter until it is my desired thickness. Again, this depends on your preference. Some people like a lot of caramel, some people like less. We're definitely on the less caramel side of the house. So just roll. And you don't have to worry about length right now. You will learn more about how much to use once you've done a couple of them. And the only way to find out is if you do a couple of them. So we're almost there. Keep rolling. All right, and now we've got our pretzel rod. I like to put one end on here and I press it down so that it adheres a little bit better. And I simply wrap, making sure that it adheres to the surface 
how tightly you wind it will also define how much caramel is on there. And this is really, really soft right now, and you can kind of see how it's stretching with the weight, so I'm just trying to be careful. If you want it more homogenous, you have to make sure that the weight down here is not pulling on your caramel. So wrap it as much as you like. It's, as you can see, not super perfect at all, but that's okay for demo purposes. You can adjust it a little bit before you dip it. Now you can melt your chocolate into a tall glass and do a dip like this into the glass. But because we are using our melting pot here, the technique is a little bit different. First, make sure everything is stuck on properly. It's a really big chunk on the bottom right here, so I'm just adjusting it. And thinner here because of the weight pulling around it, but no worries. I'm gonna throw my stick in here and basically bathe it in the chocolate. Being careful to fully cover everything. And then kind of letting the rest of it drip off. We don't want too much chocolate on there to ooze everywhere. And then we hold it back up and we will lay it down on our parchment paper or silicone mat, whatever. And you can wait for this to dry and do a little bit of drizzle using like a piping bag or a Ziploc bag with chocolate on it. But for this one, we're gonna go ahead and place sprinkles on here. You can give this a moment or so to dry a little bit so that the heavier sprinkles don't fall the way like that one just did. The chocolate will solidify just a little bit over the next few minutes and then it will be um, difficult to adhere to things after it has set beyond that. And to make it ultra cute, we're gonna add our royal icing bow on here. You can use any other accents or no accents at all because these are perfectly tasty just by themselves. When they're totally dry, like these little nubbins I've been working on on this side, you should be able to peel them up, no problem. Okay, the end, the bottoms are flat, but they're absolutely delicious either way. And just like that, you've got a very easy, sweet and salty dessert for any occasion. So here I've wrapped one much better and more evenly, and you can see how it's very nicely twirled around the rod evenly. This is what I would ideally want them to look like, but it's only if you're really picky about aesthetics or if you're selling them, you want them to look really good. Mm -hmm.